Hey, good morning guys, day 30, we got a month in man, we've been doing this so we're doing good. Uh, nothing big going on today, you get out, go do some errands, come back and uh, maybe relax. Tomorrow's the uh, first day back of the week so. And today I'm sporting those new kicks that I bought. Alright, so I'm still pissed about that Jake Shield stuff, I'm going to be complaining about that for a little while. Uh, I guarantee everybody at work is going to be laughing at me because I'm probably one of the biggest MMA fans there and they probably ended up going where I missed it. I'm, you know what, actually I'm pissed no one texted me. Someone should have let me know. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. So we're out and we'll see you in a bit. Alright, so man, my god, oh, I'm pissed. I vlogged for about five minutes. Twice now it's happened to me. And for some reason I thought the camera was on, I heard the beep and it wasn't, so now I'm going to start vlogging in front of me, turn it over, a little bit more editing on my part, but not a big deal. But what I was complaining about was my wide angle lens, I've been looking everywhere to get that for this flip camera, and on their website they have the Canadian and the American site. The American site has so much more stuff on their site, Canada all you have options are the Mino and the Flip HD. On the American side, they have tons of accessories, plus they even have another model, it's called the Flip Slide. It has a whole slide out display, it's, uh, it's quite nice, it's 16 gigs versus this, so I would give you, what this is, 8, so the other one would give you, uh, no, 8 hours, because this one's 4 hours, so yeah, an 8 hour model, not much more expensive, the only downfall is it's 30 frames versus the 60 frames, but most of the time you probably wouldn't notice that, because uh, iMovie even cuts it down to 30 frames. But uh, beyond that, like I say, everything, we're so limited. Even the Converse, like I was talking last time, I went on the site, never even noticed it. I just went through the whole thing. Took probably about a half hour, I had my shoes designed. Like the eyelids where the uh, laces go through, all that was all done up. Uh, all the stitching, I had my name stitched in the back, the inside, the outside, anyways, the shoe was mine custom. Went to go through the checkout and they don't deliver to the to Canada. So that's uh, that's a big problem really upsetting. Same thing when we went to order. I was going to order the uh, Mino and another uh, wide lens from uh, Flip.com and uh, they didn't have shipping. Or No, you could go through but at the end there was no shipping option. So they even had you to put your address. They had the Canada option, the Ontario option. But when you went to check out there was no option to send to Canada. So I, I don't understand why you'd order if you can't get it shipped here. People wouldn't drive down there. But I guess that's where the P.O. box or whatever you call that, the box uh, in the States would do. So we'd rent the box out there, then we'd just cross over Niagara, Buffalo, and then we'd go pick up our packages. So that would be our other option. But being that I play so much with the electronics, like I, it's, I find it so limited. I figured coming from where I'm from, I'm even outside of Sudbury, a very small town. I moved to Sudbury, I always thought things would get better, and then when I moved to Toronto, I was like, oh my god, I was like, I'll be up to par with everybody, all my electronics, anything I could possibly need is going to be here. And now, same thing, you can't find half of the stuff you're looking for. Most places you go to, they tell you to order online, so. Canada's too big, not enough population to drive the market. What do you think? That's why. In the States, they can afford to drop all kinds of stuff, there's so many more consumers. Here in Canada, we don't have that. So here we have the Mino. I've been complaining about this guy for a while, so we are bringing it back today. Uh, it's a nice camera, I guess. If you were going to videotape random stuff, it would be all right. But given the fact that I vlog with it, when I turn it over, I can't really see the display. So they're not dedicated buttons. It's just like a touch interface. So if you happen to slide your finger, you hear the beep. You think you're recording, but you're not, because really what you did is you started uh, uh, Zoom or you uh, lowered the volume, something along those lines. You, you'll hear the beep from touching any display instead of just having a dedicated button in the back. So I'm bringing this guy back, put in another 20 bucks, and we'll be able to afford to get one more of these guys here. These are great, I really like them. And like I say, the camera quality out of these is just as good as this one, there's no change in difference, but uh, this one here is not handy for a vlogger, I'd have to say, just cause that touch interface. All right, so just rolling up into Costco. I'm gonna pick up some chicken. Uh, and uh, for today, I'm going to be breaking out my uh, baby George, so we'll be doing the rotisserie, so I'm going to get myself a nice hunk of meat over here. Oh, 
hear that there? Why would you say that? I didn't say anything. You make, it, you make fun of French people? Nope. You think there's any other French people watching your vlogs? I bet you Belle Kramer can understand some French. I was just going to ask, do you think Belle Kramer's French? Do you think she'll respond to that? No, but I bet you she can understand French. Maybe your husband is French. Should I wait for this guy? Nope. Why? Look at that guy. That's fair though. I don't care. She's driving. People are looking at me funny. <laughs> yeah, I work with that guy. Okay, my arm's tired. Turn it off. No, I gotta show the people what it looks like in the Costco. Look, this is an accident. Watch, watch. You're gonna smash right into it. Oh! Dangerous. Stop being ridiculous. I see nothing. Look at this guy. He doesn't like it when I vlog him. I'm going to get some t-shirts made. The YouTube logo of my channel on there www.youtube.com forward slash Sean Roy 365. That's me. That's me. Let's go to the left. To the left, to the left. There's a parking spot on the left. Alright, so no Costco. Literally not a available parking spot. Not one. Everything was packed. No room, nowhere. So it's not going to happen. So I'm gonna go look for an alternative, get some good meat, and head home. Alright, so I just came up with a great plan. We're gonna head to the mall, because that's where Best Buy is. We're gonna bring back that camera, pick up the new one, uh, have lunch there, and there's the, what is it? The, the grocery store is in there. No, it's an AMP, &A so we're going to AMP, do the uh, shopping there, and head home. So, less driving and uh, more vlogging. Alright, <laughs> so, just here at Best Buy. Go inside and bring back that flip. Hopefully, we don't get a hard time. Weird, though. Kind of stuff. Hey, I'm outside waiting for you. Wait for me. Alright. Right. Alright, so we just go around to the other entrance of the mall. Happens to be in the food court and the grocery store is part of it as well. Can we eat first or what? So we're at the grocery store, picked up the meat, just gonna head home and uh, get cooking. Log in here. Did you get Alright, so just coming to the house now. Seeing my sister at the bus stop. What's this? And head into the house. What's what? Alright, so we're going to get ready to cook. Uh, change of plans. I didn't want to get into the rotisserie. I'm having a hard time finding some of the uh, accessories that go with the rotisserie that I have. So once I find that, I'll be cooking in there for sure. But today, back to the uh, trusty flavor wave. And this is what we have here. So we have the outside round. We've been sitting spices for probably about maybe uh, six, seven hours in the fridge. One piece. Uh, 
There's the other piece. Alright, so we're going to show you once that's done and uh, I'll add a wrap up today, get the video ready to post because uh, it's going to be an early one. Alright, so food's done cooking in the flavor wave and that's what we got here. I'm going to cut it up and show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so we're going to end day 30 with that, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you tomorrow.